Hello and greetings from Maven Consulting Services. This is Raj Shekhar and we are back with another video continuing our series on scholarships to study abroad. Today's focus is on applicants interested in studying in France. So first, we will talk about the Chopak scholarships for study in France. Chopak is a French government scholarship program in India. The scholarship program is divided into three sub-programs. First, it allows Indian students to study at undergraduate or postgraduate levels in public and private institutions in France. In today's topic, we will primarily focus on master's scholarships in this video because that caters to the majority of our viewers. So what is the Chapak Master's Scholarship all about? What you need to know is this scholarship is designed for one to two years of studies in France at the master's degree level for all streams and fields of study. Having said that, what are the benefits of the scholarships? What do you get when you qualify for the scholarships? You are entitled for a monthly living allowance of 860 euros. You would also be reimbursed your fees of the student visa that you would incur when applying from India. You would be entitled for social security as well as a part of this scholarship. You would also be offered assistance to find affordable student accommodation and you would have priority access to the CRO US residences subject to availability. So the Kraus residences are public and subsidized by the French government. It's the most popular accommodation for students in France. It has many advantages indeed. Rent, you know, is as low as 400 euros in Paris and 200 euros in the other regions with the possibility to benefit from rental assistance from the French CAF, that is a family allowance fund. So a lot of benefits if you qualify. Now, what is the eligibility to apply for this scholarship? A couple of things that you have to keep in mind. The applicant must be an Indian national or an OCI card holder. You should be 30 years old maximum at the time of the application. So about that age, you do not qualify. You should be a student currently enrolled in or have studied at an Indian institution of higher learning or a young professional employed in a company for a maximum of three years at the time of application. So if you have more years of your experience, you may not qualify. You should have applied for admissions at a French institution before applying for the scholarship. For admission procedures, you should not hesitate to get in touch with your nearest Campus France office in India or refer to the website of the institution of your choice. The course must take place in France. If you have one semester or more of studies in another country, the scholarship will not be provided during that period. So that's an important thing that you have to make a note of. An exception will be made for Chapak scholarship holders who are currently completing their M1 in France. They may reapply for a second year of funding to complete their M2. There is no automatic renewal of scholarship at the M2 level. Acceptance for the scholarship will be subject to academic performance at the M1 level, the nature of the master's program, and of course, you would need to furnish a new statement of purpose for your M2 program. Non-scholarship holders currently pursuing M1 in France are not eligible for the scholarship. Knowledge of French is definitely an asset, but not a mandatory thing to apply for the scholarship. So, knowing French will help you. Now, what is the selection procedure that goes into for applicants for this scholarship? Your application will be selected based on your academic excellence and the consistency and quality of your statement of purpose. So that becomes very important. There is no CGP or a percentage cutoff for the scholarship. Knowledge of French, as mentioned, is an asset but not a mandatory thing. A tie-up between your current Indian institution and your future French institution will also be an asset. That means what kind of program you've completed and what you intend to study in France is what they're going to look forward for. Now, quickly let us see what the documents required are. The students must submit their applications on the online scholarship portal. The link to the same will be mentioned in the description. And along with the online application, you would need to send the scans of the following documents flashing on the screen. So you will have the documents 
on the screen flashing and this is what you will need to put in. I will quickly run through them. You need your passport size photograph, scanned copy of the first page of your passport. If you're getting your passport after the deadline, they do accept the proof of your passport application. A complete curriculum vitae, maximum of two pages and not more than that. A scanned copy of your admission or an acceptance letter from the French Higher Education Institution. If you have yet to receive it before the deadline, attach an email correspondence to show that you are in the process of getting the acceptance letter from them. That means your application submission confirmation can be attached. <coughs> Excuse me. Scan copies of mark sheets and degrees of your higher secondary school, that's your 12th, bachelor's and master's degrees, including those of completed semesters of the ongoing degree. French language certificate, if any, that is the DELF or the DALF. Document of employment or internship records if applicable and obviously letters of recommendations from the current Indian University or the employer or the institution last attended. Please note that the letters of recommendation should be submitted as scanned copies of the original typed and signed paper letters. They will have to include the referee's signature and contact details. And if possible, please make sure that these are on the letterhead of the institution and also bear a stamp of the institution. One important thing that you need to make a note is all the documents that we just mentioned must be in PDF or the JPEG format. Word, RTF, ODT, TXT message documents, zip folders, screenshots and scans of social media are absolutely not accepted. What's the timeline for applying for the scholarships? Opening of the call for application starts Wednesday, 4th of January 2023 and the deadline for the reception of applications would be until Friday, 24th March of 2023 until the 23.59 Indian Standard Time and the results will be published by the end of April of 2023. That's the timeline. So if you have any questions regarding the Chapak scholarship programs, please get in touch with the nearest Campus France office or you can email them at the email ID flashed on the screen. Please note that no reason will be given for the rejection of an application. The French embassy clearly states that it is not obliged to respond to candidates whose applications need to be completed or considered for the scholarship award. Awardees of the scholarships are contacted via email. So that's one interesting scholarship that we have to students who wish to study in France. So we keep continuing our series on scholarships to study abroad. If you do not want to miss any of such scholarships, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, click on the bell notification. I'm sure you'll not miss any of that. Thank you so much for watching our videos.